15 years old. I attend Wyatt Ranch High School. And I, I love acting because you can really, you know, show more than who you are. You can step into somebody else's shoes and make them who you want to be. It's basically like you can live so many different lives and it's just, it's amazing being able to, you know, get a role and you can bring that role to life and be able to make that who you want it to be. Frozen water all in the chain. Believe me. That's really hard because I've had a lot of really, really hard struggles in my life. Losing my dad or dealing with a past of being sexually abused. So I can relate to this book and these girls because I might not live where they live, but I've been through some of the things I've been through and I know it's not easy. And that's why I think I could, I can personally put myself and bring the emotions to how they really feel because I really know and I think those are the hardest two struggles that I've, I've been through so far in my life. Well there's a few. I like to think positive. Positive's the best way. So probably modeling for one. Modeling is amazing and everything I've been able to accomplish so far. And acting. Acting. I just want to go as far as I can go with my mom. Those are probably, you know, the most. Three more wishes because you can never have too many wishes. I have a really big heart and I'd do anything just to make somebody happy. I go out of my way to make sure everyone that surrounds me is happy and okay and I'd do anything for anyone. Everybody tells me that I am, I don't, they've never met anyone like me before. And when I say that, I'm not exaggerating. I am probably one of the weirdest people you will ever meet in your life. I love to make people laugh. Jealousy. I get jealous really, really easy over a lot of things. No, I don't expect me personally to change in this experience because I want to leave a name for myself. Like, why? That's what I want to do with my life and inspire other people and somebody look at me and go, wow, I want to be like her one day. That's what I want to do. Never lose sight in who you are as a woman and as a person. I wouldn't say she's an eagle because um, she's independent, as I said earlier, and she's, you know, just trying to spread her wings in this world and fly and try to find her place. I don't know. I think I'd be scared of Cootie. <laughs> <laughs> just because she was just like she's like that kind of girl you'd see and you'd just be like sorry you'd just be like oh my god like move like get out of her way yeah my best friend best friend till the very end cause best friends best she's misunderstood and I feel misunderstood at times throughout my whole life I've always felt misunderstood from a lot of things, which I have been and still am, and you know, she's independent, I can be independent, and she's out there, and I'm definitely out there. I'm 
I'm not violent. I don't hustle drugs and I don't steal. Probably that she is her own person and she does her. Everyone has fears. Maybe she just doesn't like to show them. So tell me, if you were in Cootie's position and you lived in this type of environment, do you think you would be the same kind of person Cootie is? Do you think you would be the leader of a gang or do you think you would be a follower? I don't even know until I'm honestly in that position because I don't know if I want to be a leader or if I just want to follow along and just do what they do. Well, are you a leader or a follower in real life? I'm honestly neither. I do I do my own thing. I don't follow anyone and I don't really pay attention if anyone follows me. I just go do my own thing, as we said. So. Daughters of Hustle is about young women who are living and growing up or grew up in rough environments and are trying to just make it by joining gangs, hustling, drugs, murdering people because that's what you have to do to survive. Tell me a little bit more about Cootie. What does Cootie do for a living? She is a gang member to the Yellow Jackets. Mm -hmm. What's her role in that gang? She's vice president. Okay. And what is the Yellow Jackets all about? What do they do? They steal from rival gangs. They, they steal and they hustle drugs and they do what every other gang does. Are they fierce or? Yes, they're oh. warriors. They're leaders and you never know when they're going to sneak up and come at you. So what about Cootie? What, what kind of person is, is Cootie? Tell us about her character. She's independent and she is manipulative and she has, she's a misunderstood, a misunderstood girl who has a violent past, but you know, she's just trying to find her place because she hasn't had the best life that, you know, most girls have had. She's a tough girl. How old is your, is Cootie? 23. What color do you associate with Cootie and why? I associate red with Cootie if she was a color because she's a warrior sure. and she and she stands out and she's fierce and she's bright and she's red. She's just red. She's just a girl and she's on fire. What I think daughters, daughters of hustle, what they're trying to put out there is that what it's like what women really have to go through and that it's not okay for women to have to go through this and that this violence isn't made up. This violence isn't just in stories. It's real and it's really happening and people have to realize the facts and that it's showing what it's like to what women have to go through and it's not just a fantasy. The real question is why am I, why, what is there not to be excited about? This is, I cried when I found out. This is just incredible. <laughs> because it's an opportunity to show the world what it's like for girls to, you know, grow up in environments like that and what girls really have to go through. Not even environments like that, everywhere. And it's an opportunity to, you know, this book was, one last question. Do you think the media and TV really show what young women have to go through? Or do you think it's brushed under the rug? 
I personally know that it's brushed under the rug. They don't. They don't give the justice that girls really deserve. MD, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to work with you on this, on this project, on this giving me the opportunity to be a part of this. It's incredible. Thank you.